Hi, everyone. Hola, it's Arthur. And this is Linda. I think she's like a psychic and like a Apache or Comanche or something. I'm Comanche. Okay. I'm just Polish and French. Apache was a much better looking tribe. <laughs> so we're here today. I'm filling in for Mel, but also here to tell everyone it's only an acorn chicken little. Sit down. Hey, listen, it's like, uh, who's that That guy from Tennessee, the bald guy that worked for Clinton? He's so cute. He's so funny. Anyway, when. Horrible. Yeah. He told everybody the night of the uh, the thing that when everybody's nervous, is Biden going to win? He said, put the straight razor back up on the in the in the bathroom <laughs> cover because it's going to be OK, everybody. And that's what I want to tell you. That's. Honest to God, that's and when I did a read yesterday and I looked at it, it said there was some cabinet there, something that was going to happen that people were going to think, uh oh. But I'm going to tell you what, this is my head, and then you tell them your head. Okay. But years ago, when Kavanaugh got in, and I was in Oklahoma, and people were saying, Linda, Linda, what's going to happen? And I saw him getting in, I saw him in the robe, sitting down at the chair, and then they said, Someone was taking him by the shoulder and telling him, sir, you got to go. I think when Biden wins for the second term and we get a good portion, they might end the filibuster. They might end it. They won't care what Mitch McConnell says. If you do it to us, we'll do it to you. We don't care because our nation's in crises. They're going to end the filibuster and they're going to make those people sit before the Senate and say, where all that money? Like, where did Kavanaugh get all that money? And why did you say you would uh, not change precedent when you did? But mm -hmm. they're going to put them through hell. So I see two new jurors coming in, jurists coming in. It's SCOTUS. And uh, I see several having to leave. Okay. I and see and things, things are going to change in the famous word of, uh, uh, what was her name in that movie uh, with Nicolas Cage? It was so funny. Arizona, mm -hmm. Raised in Arizona. Oh, raising his, yeah, that's right. Things are gonna change. I know. I just keep on hearing bit David Bowie seeing changes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. You know, even with that that uh, debate, people were just. And I understand it was horrible to see Grandpa get kind of you know. Yeah, but you know, there were. A lot, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there were a lot of things that got me really rallied up. I've worked in. I've worked in television. Who was watching the mic? They could have they could have turned that mic up a little bit, and yeah, and then filtered it so he didn't sound so crazy. Well, they had it up long enough for Trump so you could hear him lie, no, and farting and stuff. You could hear yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it's just you know, it just seemed like um, that whole debate thing was, as I told the client last week, you have a wonderful set of dishes, you break one cup, you're gonna throw the whole thing out. I don't think so. Oh, well, Biden even said, look it, I'm going to go next time I'm going up as Joe Biden. He got filled with too many statistics. They were on him and on him, treating him like a grandpa. You know, well, not only that, he should have when he walked out, the only thing my would have told him was, you know what? Say, hey folks, I'm a little under the weather, but I'm still doing this. That's all he needed to say. And like my friend Dan says, where was his makeup guy? He could have used a little rouge or something. The guy looked white as can be. Actually, the lighting looked like it was skewed towards Trump and against him. And the, the camera angles were just skewed against him. It was just, and Dana Bash actually told him to basically shut up at one point, basically. And it was just like, that was rude. They didn't tell that to Trump when he's lying. Yeah. So oh, they, uh, CNN was told not to question facts. Well, because they're owned by MAGA. The, the man yeah. guy, got his name. But anyway, so we've got lots of questions here regarding the immunity and other decisions of the recent Supreme Court. So I'm just going to go in with it. Like Julianne asks, when will people start protesting? This I know. I saw a huge protest. They started. Yeah. I'm wondering when they come back in in October, if they're going to try to take on, they're not going to come to a conclusion, but they may take on, it's going to be trouble. I could smell it like a, a gay case, gay marriage or something. Like when they start putting up the uh, <laughs> the gates. And and I feel something's coming up and I see hundreds of hundreds, or as Trump likes to say, millions and trillions of people will be marching. 
A big league crowd. Yeah, but they're not going to be for him. No, it's going to be this whole SCOTUS is going down. Right. Because I'm just going to sum up a lot of the questions we have here is uh, will the presidential immunity decision be revisited in the future? Yes. Will there be an exposure of corruption of SCOTUS associated? Yes, with that's the trial I saw Senator Whitehouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw all kinds of details coming up. And let me tell you about, about Chuckin. And I said, uh, Sterling said this, I said this, they're going to go back to Chutkin, and I see Jack Smith, even though they're saying, no, no, you can't count that, he's going to say it anyway. Mm -hmm. He's going to bring up so many facts, people's hair will be curled. I feel there's more facts that he wrote down in the indictment that he's just going to bring forward. Okay, well, that if, let's add this one, let's add this one, let's add this one. They're going for gusto, yeah. No, he's going for guts. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's now there's an interesting thing. Marky Brown wrote here, writes here. Will our legislators ever enforce the constitutional article three, section two, which states they have the power to over power over SCOTUS an article on January 8th, 24th, um, this guy on the Hartman report talks all about it where the Supreme, I mean, they can overrule the Supreme court, which Who they can. can and they Who would. Can. Who can yeah. overrule the Supreme Court? Congress. Yeah. Well, remember we got the the, the repubes running. We yeah, no, we're Johnson. talking about next term. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Something's happening. Yeah. Something's happening where they'll make them look like it, it might even be, but there's going to be hearings. But I see Biden adding two more. And I'm going to tell you right now, what I get when I was looking at this this morning, I started scrying in, in the in the crystal ball. I kept on getting. Roberts, remember when John Boehner just said, I've had enough, I can't do this anymore? Yeah. That's the kind of attitude I was getting from him. I've been feeling that on Roberts. And um, somebody asked here, Lynn has often said Roberts will be leaving SCOTUS. Will the next chief justice be a woman? Maybe Eileen Kagan. Well, they don't take someone that's already in there. Exactly. The president, the president picks somebody. And if it's Biden, he'll probably pick a woman. I wonder if Anita Hill's busy. Just kidding. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> well, and I, they will stop lifetime appointments, by the way. But oh, this yeah. Is That's really going down. And what I keep on getting, a lot of the stuff has been going down, like the Chevron and everything else. It may take two years, but it's going to get resolved. All of it. All mm -hmm. that'll be Roe versus Wade, all of it. So mm -hmm. it's like you guys can play and act like you're big wigs. But guess what? At the end, they think they're gods right now. Yeah, but guess what? Remember the emperor's new clothes? They're naked. Yeah. Ew, my eyes. Us. But you know, it's just the, the whole fact that people are running around crazy. Yeah. And they've got to stop. Like we were talking before we started. People are writing, well, you said this, you said that, you said this. And it's like, then don't watch me. Right. Well, initially, when this came about complete immunity, um, I would my guys were telling me, no, he's not going to get complete immunity. And they were right. He didn't get did complete get, immunity. Yeah. They just have to figure out what I also saw Judge Chuck and having to take some of these. And I think they're going to cross over the line, too. They're going to throw their nose up at SCOTUS and bring out all of it. Yeah. And then what happens? People are going to be so upset. They're saying, take this SOB out of here. They're going to hurt. Trump, the problem with a new trial, and this isn't going to be a Trump quote unquote trial, okay, is that sometimes it helps Trump's numbers go up. It's just like Biden's numbers have gone up now because Mimi was picking on grandpa and people don't like that. People are like, no, I don't want you picking on grandpa. And it caused a compassion in people's souls. People are giving more money is going to Biden right now than Trump. Exactly. But what happens when he gets on trial, people don't want that either, right? But this will be a trial that's just bringing in witnesses, talking to them. It'll be publicized, and it's going to be a zinger. And right. that's really going to hurt him. So that trial or fake trial is probably the trial everybody's been seeing. Right. Everything is another other one, trial. something else coming forward. Because nothing else is going to be able to come up. No. And but then... 
they're going to take the power away from SCOTUS. I'm telling you right now. But even Thomas was writing about the immunity. I mean, uh, his um, the stuff with Cannon that Trump should have immunity to some of that stuff. I mean, it's like he was saying that in the in the in, in one of his in one of his add-ons. Yeah. Well, of course he would say that because he's being paid. But by I'm telling you right now, I st I don't know why. I always say maybe it's my liver backing up from the seventies, but I still see him leaving before the oh, right before the election. Um, Thomas, I've been saying oh, that for two. I years think now. yeah, I think his health is really bad. I think it's his health and stuff about Ginny's going to be coming up. I think that's what Biden. I mean, um, Jack Smith is going to be bringing out. Well, listen, Jack Smith is at the table right now, and it's almost like you know what? I'm done. It might even be Jack Smith realizes that this Trump thing is going to take too damn long. So he might already, because he wasn't going for the guts before. Yeah. Now he may say, why not? Because I've always been saying that as as we get towards the end of the year, he starts releasing who the unnamed conspirators are. Yeah. And we've got a lot of cockroaches running under the refrigerator in the kitchen. I think a lot of big, and by the way, Andre saw real bad planets for, for Trump. Mm-hmm. Just around the time of the eleventh, the eleventh. See, that's the other thing. But we have the eleventh. Then we have the Republican National Convention coming up a, f a few days later. Then we're going to forget about the debate. I think Chuckkin will already have a date come August about people gathering. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see what's this and what's that. What's what? They're going to bring out, they're going to throw the baby with the bathwater. They're going to bring out everything. That's what I see. I could be totally wrong. But listen, you guys come to Psychics for Entertainment and basically the theme is the same. The theme is Biden's going to win. Yeah, because I mean, I've got people writing here. Um, I know y'all said Biden will win. And not to worry, but is it like Gore had or like Hillary? No, it's a real. No, but we weren't on. We weren't on. I wasn't YouTube. even on YouTube. I was only. I've only been on YouTube for a little, a little over a year. I've been on since 2018, and I predicted the uh, the COVID was coming. Mm -hmm. I saw the, the Boeing airplane crash being software related. I saw um, uh, Biden winning. I still do. And and by the way, uh, Sterling. The reason I met him was because his wife had a reading and she said he had said at that time Trump was going to win. So if Trump, if, if he had a, a show, he would have said Trump's going to win. Yeah. People would have been mad as hell. Well, but That's what I was telling people too. That two weeks before the election, something was going to come out about Hillary and my friends wouldn't talk to me. But uh, she was set up. And just like Biden was set up with that debate. Yeah, but, but, you know, I can see where it's scary, but they need to drop it. Yeah. They need yeah. to let it go. This, this MSNBC, everybody, is, oh, Chuck Rosenstein. Chuck Rosenstein said, I don't see this as bad as everybody's saying. Right. He's a story. He's the uh, historical historian. Or no, he's, he's mm -hmm. uh, Chuck Rosenstein is, say, he used to be a big wig in oh, the I'm office. Thinking Okay, I'm thinking about Chuck something else. He's a historian. Oh, he knows law. Okay, yeah. so he said, I think you guys are kind of getting going off the ship here sooner than you should. And it's not it's not going to be as bad as you think. Right. <laughs> and so right. I held on to that. But everybody else wants to act like the sky is falling. If you need to do that, do that. But please don't. Yeah, it's like Diane says. I want you to breathe and not worry. <laughs> The, the news keeps saying Biden should drop out. Some Democrats are worried. Well, it's clickbait. Somebody could say something. Yeah, they make money off of Trump. Yeah. And um, do you see another debate? Yeah, in September. Okay. I wasn't sure about he'll it. He'll do fantastic, by the way. Okay. I wasn't really sure about it. I mean, all these people are writing conspiracy stuff. And you know, did they did they put something in Biden in Biden's tea or or water and all? It's like people stop, just stop. Yes, yes. You know, it's it's just the, the um, it's human nature to go to the bad stuff, not to the good stuff. But you know, then they get. 
I mean, look at all the good that this man has done, and he has one bad debate. You guys, that's what. That's why I like. Oh, by the way, uh, Andre said that um, his chart was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Governor Newsom. Oh, okay. He said, Linda, if he ran for president right now, he'd win hands down. I don't see him running for president. I don't see it either. Not now. But when he was sitting, I've told this so much, you guys are probably sick of it with the different shows I've done. But when he was sick, sitting with that girl that um, that had took Rachel Maddow's place Tuesday through Fridays. Alex Wagner. And she started saying, um, so who do you think should take Biden's? And he said, we need to get Biden's back. Do you realize everything he's done? And he was naming off all the stuff that Biden has done. So, you know, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I'm going to tell you, I stand by him. And mm -hmm. then when she said, well, thank you. And, you know, good night. She was even cowing a little bit because I guess his energy was strong. And when he left, he gave her a look like you. Well, and then they, I, I saw when they went back to the newsroom, it was like, well, he's a good surrogate. It's like, he's talking truth, people. Yeah. You know, yeah. what are they going to do? Do, do none of us ask Kamala Harris to be president? Yeah. <laughs> now, what did you, did you pick up anything people were asking about? You heard about the Russian plane on the tarmac next to Trump's plane? Yeah, of course nobody's talking about it. He had a meeting with someone, not with Putin. No. And they're saying, well, how did it happen? It's like, well, it was, a, you know, it's from an embassy or whatever that, you know, they have. And don't forget, we're going to get rid of a lot of the ants that are within our administration. There's still a lot of Trumpsters, FBI, Secret Service. There's people that aren't coming out with the truth. The thing is, and this is what Andre picked up, and I need to hear your version. Okay. When, like this Chevron ruling, it's ridiculous. This is totally political. But when Trump loses... How much of a has been will he be? Who? When Trump loses, he's not going to win office again. Who? Yeah, but all you're asking, those, how, you're asking what a has been will be like. Who? Like those Mike Johnson and all those people that think he's king. What yeah. happens to all of them? Is it like I saw years ago, rats jumping off the ship? Yeah. Or like I said, the cockroach is crawling under the refrigerator. You know, it's no. He's. I was teasing you when I said who. You know, oh. I was like, who is he? Who are you talking about? His the thing is, he's significant for being insignificant in in history. That's how I read this. Yeah, and you know, I was I was looking into this, and I kept on saying, "Why would this happen?" And just kept from reminding me when people kept on saying, "Well, how did Hitler come to power? How did it happen?" Well, basically. We're living it right now, people. So if we didn't learn from history before, we better learn it from now. Yeah. And I feel this time we learn. Yeah. History. I don't feel. I know. That I, I'm going to say I know. Oh, I, this guy is saying that they killed nine-month-old born babies. They murdered them. Oh, uh, yeah. We're out of the womb already, you know. It's like Hillary Clinton with Pizzagate that she was eating babies. These people believe it. And and then remember that guy went to the uh, pizza parlor in New York or wherever it was, and there was absolutely no basement. Where yeah. you know they oh they have a secret door they have a secret passage. Uh, no, no. But yeah, the plane thing was kind of like I felt there was some paperwork handed between. That's what I'm feeling. Maybe even money exchanged hands. Yeah, and the thing, other thing they kept on picking up on on this whole thing this morning was. I mean, I don't read terror that much, but I kept on picking up every card I was getting was a pentacle. All about money. All about money. Every what? I kept on picking up pentacles. So oh. I said all this thing with with Russia and Trump, and it's all about money. It's all involved with money, yeah. Although Russia's running out of money. Oh. Well, we need the people to realize it and stand up. Oh, they just want him in office so bad they can smell it. They they want to take over Ukraine. He could they'll he'll give them carte blanche. But it's oh, not gonna he'll... happen, I'm telling you. And then he'll call Chi and say, you know, hey, you want Taiwan? Go ahead. We're not gonna do anything. I know. But it's not gonna happen, people. It's not gonna happen. I had one client say to me, What's the worst case scenario you see? I said, I don't. Yeah, I mean, we we're kind of going through the worst case right now. 
You're getting fuzzy. Put your hand up. There you go. I yeah. like my, uh, what's Carrie your Lake face? Carrie, Carrie Lake. Did you see her winning, Carrie Lake? No. I don't see her winning either. Mm -mm. Do you know, uh, Stur I used to want Beto to win so badly. Mm -hmm. I think he did win, but I think they stole votes. Ken Paxson changed the votes. Yeah, he even admitted it. Mm. But um, uh, one thing Sterling says that I'm very happy about is he sees that other guy beating Ted Cruz. Yes. So that's good news. I've been saying if Ed Cruz gets in, it's dark black money and they'll find out about it and he'll he'll be running away with his tail between, between his legs. Maybe to like Mexico, sit on the beach somewhere. Right. As the right. power goes down. But, you know, all I keep on saying is people stop panicking. Look what happened to Steve Bannon. Oh, he reported, he reported today. He did what time? I don't know. I was sleeping. It was you coming. But no, it, it, it's uh, Steve Bannon had to report to prison today. Oh. But he still has his podcast, though. That's what I don't understand. Is he going to do his podcast from the jail cell? I don't know. If, or he's maybe taped stuff behind. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But I just was reading. I didn't get the details. They'll do his podcast. But somebody asked here, uh, Budisha, um, Highland Arthur, will Steve Bannon ever be even worse when he gets out of prison right before the election. He's already calling for beheading people and putting their heads on spikes. He's such an idiot. He's a nobody and nothing. Well, it got me pissed off that all these news people were asking him, you know, oh, is he is he worried about going to prison? He's he should be worried. Jim Jordan should be right next to him. For the same thing. Don't worry, these people. That's why I was thinking that Jack Smith, when he goes to Chutkin and they start doing this thing on January 6th, because he's going to be so pissed off about the Supreme Court, I think he might say, you know what? I wasn't going to pull in these other people, but now I am. Now that they want to hear the truth, we might as well bring them in. Oops. Well, the other side will say. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when they're going to be freaking out. Yeah. Also, Mimi wants to know when will Mighty Mike, Mighty Mega Mike, be replaced by Jeffries? You know, I always felt when the it won't be to the new administration. See, I always felt it was right before. Well, Again. maybe it could be some people when that when Trump loses so bad, they might go ahead and step away. Or when Jack Smith starts naming names and oh, I know that's a good idea. You know, and then they all throw each other. That wasn't me. That was. But he me. was Mike. What's his name? Mike, whatever his name. Mike is. Johnson. Moses. He was. They literally showed him make a statement to the press. I just cannot believe how much Biden lied out there. Oh, I know, and that's supposed to be like the the guy in line right after the vice president. As somebody <laughs> said, he thinks it's Moses. He can't even bar his hair, let alone the Red Sea. Yeah. I, He's not a very good person. There's a creep factor with him. That whole religion. Very creepy. I mean, I don't mind religious people, but not cults. Yeah. You know? Here's another question. It has nothing to do with nothing, but it's really good. From Cheryl McNutt. Do we get punished in this life for bad behavior in the in the past lives? In this life, we do have Do we get punished in this life for bad behavior? I don't know if you call it punishment. Lives? karma it's karma yeah it's sometimes how people will go you know we pick our parents and stuff because we needed to go through this in this lifetime some of it's good some of it's bad but i just read for a lady that had this guy in her life and it was horrible she her best friend of 20 years was having an affair with the guy and broke her heart and but she's she's still holding on to that pain and it's like you gotta let it go you, you don't give them that power over you anymore. Mm. So, you know, a lot of people have been hurt really badly by others. And our thing to be able to do is to walk away from it, to to not allow it to take over our karmic energy. Mm -hmm. Because the more we forgive and stand in the light, 
the easier the things we really want come to us. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I'm telling people, you might be upset with the Supreme Court. You might be upset with everything. Don't wish anyone ill will. Just wish that they get what's... That's what I did about Trump. I was talking to Trash about him and my guy said, Linda, knock it off. I said, why? He's a loser. And they said, because that puts out more of the same. You've got to let it go. Allow justice to take place. And actually, this this court is setting themselves up. Little do they realize what they're doing to themselves. They're just, you know, they're doing their own gallows. They don't realize it. Yeah, they think they're going to get away with this, and they're not. Boy, are they. And they really hope Trump wins, too. Well, I would be nervous if they brought it. I'm, I think I think Biden will win enough that they can't bring it into Supreme Court to act like they. He might challenge Trump. Might challenge. Of course, he's going to. But the last time he did the Supreme Court upheld it sixty five times. They said there's nothing here. I mean, that you can't backflip over. Yeah. So what does that give? Uh, you know, they they didn't give him complete immunity. No. But so what does it do for Biden? He's still president. Well, I know. It's like, hey, SEAL team number six, I got a favor to ask. Let's take him out. Yeah. They're not going to do that, though. The gods are going to do that for us. The gods that's what, it's, his, it's his karmic debt. Not Ill, Ill will. But, you know, the very first time I did a show with you was last year in July. Yeah. And I said, remember... You have to be alive to be a president. Yeah. So and you kept feeling, you're feeling that for this time around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not from uh, underhand, it means it might be. No, natural. no, not, not natural. Natural. You know, it's. Uh, well, according to Andre, his chart shows a lot of health issues. Because so the thing is, every time I kept on reading about. The sentencing on July 11th, the wording I kept on getting was a facility. I don't know if it's a medical facility, if it's a nut facility, if it's a hospital, you know, or. A, well, it won't be a regular jail, right? No. But the word, I kept on asking the guides, what do you mean by facility? And they, they said a facility. Then again, they don't know what a tweet is. So, you know, hey. Yeah. So when they when people ask me, will it be email? Will it be a text? Will it be? I said they don't even know what a tweet is. They don't even know what email is. They just say the word communication. Okay, is what I get. So the thing is, a lot of people, I feel, by the end of this month, sorry, by the end of this month, are going to be surprised. A lot of crap is going to still be coming out about women with Trump, is what I'm predicting. There's still a lot of stuff going to hit the fan. That nobody knew about. And I think that's because, like you said, Jack Smith's taking the gloves off. He's going to take the gloves off. I'm telling you right now. He's like so pissed at them for holding on to this forever like they did. This was yeah. all deliberate yeah. and he knows it. Well, because, yeah. I mean, in December, he asked them to, you know, let's, let's, let's speed this thing up. He keeps getting shit upon just like, did you hear that? Was it Thomas even acted like he wasn't sure Jack Smith? Should have that's, been a. That's what I'm talking about. What he what he's writing in, the the thing, and that's a present to Canon. That yeah, he, he was the point illegally or whatever. It's like, uh, no, no, and that's not the that's not what's before you. So why are you commenting on it? Well, he's talking about immunity. Yeah, supposedly, well. it's gonna. I wonder if it's gonna have like Supreme Court. Justice trading cards. I don't know, but I see Jack Smith writing, writing away. They are all gathered together. And he kind of had a feeling this was going to happen too, by the way. Oh, yeah. He kind of knew they were going to, but he's going to play ball now. Well, like I said, the gloves are off. He's, I mean, this is somebody that dealt with the Hague with, with, with the big bad boys. They don't know. They don't know. They're playing with. But them. he's not afraid to take them on, so he'll take on the Supreme Court too. Oh yeah, took on a president when at the Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Congress. And the House and and people in the Senate. 
All those jurors in New York found Trump guilty. Yeah, it wasn't had nothing to do with Biden. It had to do with normal people. Yeah. They found out he did assault that woman. And he's got to pay out the yin yang. E. Jean Carroll. And then all the... All but the also they're talking about, you know, Aileen Cannon. A lot of that stuff that happened was after he was president. He refused to give him back. But I'm almost thinking Jack Smith will open another case with Ben Mister. Yes. And she won't be able to be part of that. Right. And I also believe there's nothing's gonna happen. There's something there's an additional I keep on paying, like you said, at Bedminster. I don't know if there's something also with, with Florida, but there's something else in addition to just what judge is in front of Judge Chuck uh in Judge Cannon. There's something else with it with documents and all that kind of stuff and espionage that's gonna come out in addition to what's in Florida. So you're right. Okay. And like I keep on saying, they buried the wife in a casket when she was cremated. What's in there? And six people had to carry it? Yeah, I know. That was weird. I don't see them be able to get into it right now. Might might be after Trump's dead. And they take over Three, that. Two, one. Just kidding. They take over the uh, estate. Well, when he has so much money, the, the 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 government forecloses on everything and takes it over. I know. Go look what they're doing to Jones. How broke is he now? Very good. And that took a while to happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, for years he. I mean, he he was just like laughing these people's faces and making <clears throat> money after money after money off these people' grief. Saying, oh, I'm talking about these little babies. Oh my God, these poor parents. I'm surprised he was still breathing. I really do. As a mother, if that happened to my kid, I don't know if I could handle it. When the coroner reporting, we found feathers in his uh, in his esophagus. Yeah, he's he's not a very nice guy. No, but he's It may take time, but justice is served and everything, the truth is finally always revealed. Right. What we do in life, it always will be revealed at one point or another. Yeah, yeah. It, and the truth is shining now and we've got some Pluto action going into Aquarius and Saturn's coming out of something. So we got, we're going back to the days of wine and roses. We're going back to the days of truth. Yeah, going back to the days. this stuff has been happening right now, based astrology wise, for years. We've been going through oh, yeah. this for years. Well, it's 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 been, <clears throat> you know, the lobster in the water not really is being boiled. Yeah. Now we're at the boiling point. So, but the, I really have to tell you, and towards the end of the debate, I thought Trump uh, Biden was doing better, but okay. I can see why people were freaked out. But I will tell you when I him hearing all this input about, you know, his numbers are going up, people are donating like crazy, more compassion towards him, how he looked in North Carolina when he said- Oh, the next know, day? He was backing himself. Or that night when he went to the restaurant. Oh yeah, his the Waffle House. Wife, you know, I said, but of course, you know, when I'm in a restaurant, I will rally, I can be on desk bed, but if I'm in a restaurant, I'll rally. <laughs> <laughs> so, you I'll know, have that. I'll have that of two of those, three of those, one of those. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he it's going to be okay, you guys. I, I I can only tell you what I feel. If you're too anxious, just don't watch psychics, don't watch the news. I've been watching Turner Movie Channel. <laughs> I watched an officer and a gentleman yesterday again. I got no place to go. <laughs> Mayonnaise. Well, so, you know, by the way, I worked with him as an extra in, I, know, in yeah, the movie. Yeah. And he was one of the nicest men, I got to tell you. And yeah. just as cute in person, you guys. Yeah. What I did say a couple questions about France. Yeah, I guess what's his face? Oh, uh, uh, Andre said he he knew when he would put that out that the right would win, and they did. Um, but see, he doesn't come out until... 2027 but i don't I a lot can happen in between see in the bottom the end of the day 
it's just like here everybody's freaking out about Maggie and Trump getting in, getting in, get at the last minute. I don't feel they're gonna it's gonna happen the way they think they are. It's not gonna happen, not here. Look at Brazil. No, Look no, no. I'm talking about Le Pen. Will Le Pen win? I, I no. I still don't but, feel. but look at uh, Brazil. Somebody was telling me that uh, that guy that's hiding out in Florida now, they made it so he can never run for office again is what we should have done with Trump. Oh, yeah. And also, they have a, a great democracy. Brazil's doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that's good news. I also heard, um, uh, which some of the people that were coming to the United States, El Salvador. They got somebody in there that's building all these buildings for the prisoners, for these cray crazies that are trying to hurt innocent people. They're putting them all in these, they're just building these big, huge jails, but throwing them in there. Now it's just called the house here. <laughs> yeah. But I did a show a while back, I called it White House or Big House. <laughs> yeah, really. But and of course, Trump went on his true social and called this a win, but he would call anything <clears throat> a win. Just like he was impeached twice, but he acts like he wasn't. Right. I was found innocent. No, you weren't. No. It's just that Mitch McConnell and his cronies didn't vote against you when they should Mitch have. Mitch McConnell's got a nice place set up for him, too. He's not a very good man. He's, And I don't see him around that much longer. No. He's not going to be here another four years. Well, he won't be in the Senate in another four years, I can tell you that. Did you... Were you, did you Say to me earlier that Nancy Pelosi and Bernie Sanders were older than Biden. I'm or was not, Andre? It might have been Andre because Nancy Pelosi, I believe, is about the same age. She's an Aries. Yeah, an Aries. Because I, I think it was Andre because he said yeah. if they had been up there, they would have given them a what for. But that's how they are. They think on their feet. You know, Biden yeah. got stuck. I'm telling you right now. God well, bless them. The one thing Alex Wagner did say is that they overprepped him. That's what happened. Yeah. I've been saying that. He looked like he was stuck in the numbers. And then, you know, as I've admitted, I, as I went to speech therapy for stuttering. So when you stop like that, that's and why it gets worse. Talks. Yeah. That's why sometimes I talk fast. So, so I don't stutter. Yeah. But, and sometimes I'll just like look a deer in headlights. So I understand he's trying to get the thoughts together. And then when you have all these facts, one after the other. Too much to put together. And then on top of that is you have two minutes and we're going to cut your mic off. And then when Dana Bash said, Mr. President, your time is up. They never said that to Trump. Oh, I know. I'll tell you that Dana Bash, they've been talking to her. She has a very sad look on her face. I don't know what's going on. She looks totally despondent. It, I almost felt like she didn't want to be, she did not, they just gave them, they weren't moderators. They were just, answer, they were just giving yeah. questions. And they weren't supposed to question the president, the, the ex-president. But can and I ask like you something? They've been calling him President Trump and that pissed me off too. Yeah. Well, can I ask you something now? No, what no. is the deal with Tim Miller? They're saying, get rid of Tim Miller. You know, the kind of hippie guy, the gay guy that's on, oh, he's on with Rachel. Bullworth. He's, he's on the Bullworth. He's got the pearls. Yeah. What happened? What What did he do? I don't do? know. He used to be with Jeb Bush. And he does his own podcast and his own YouTube. So they're talking trash about him. I guess he's kind of pu pulling for Trump, for Biden to step down. I'm, no, I tell you. No, I, 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 I don't think he's pulling. I don't know. I'm not going to say. because I don't. Okay. Know. Just look it up when you have time. I will. But, but uh, you know what? It's we had a good session here, my friend. The bottom line is, like I started the show, it's only an acorn chicken little. Sit down, do not freak out. Yeah. Listen to anything else but the shit the crap out there. And the other thing is, you know, we we get hits on things, but things can change. Mm -hmm. oh, but I'm, look at our record. Look at the record of the person that's doing this. You know, and, and if we get, sometimes we'll be off. But you know, we're even, human. I mean, even Jean Dixon was off a few times. You know, yeah. And she admitted it. I admit it. You admit, I it. admit it. I just wanted. Yeah, to get I thought for sure Beto was going to win. I argued with Sterling, but he was right. 
But even Sterling's been wrong a couple of times. But then again, as we later find out, Ken Paxson may have played, oh, played around. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he bragged about it. So. Well, my friend, it was wonderful being what with you. What do you got this week? Um, I'm stop. busy. Tomorrow's dentist. The next day, I've got... Uh, Oh, I'm busy every day of the week, it seems like. But listen, so I am booked. I'm not reading anymore, you guys. Uh, so if you can, I have a wait list of about 10 pages. But I can't do it anymore. I mean, I may start up again sometime next year. But um, can I send people to you? I'm still getting people asking yeah. if I do readings. I have openings this month. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Because some people need emergency. I mean, I, I, I'm not... I'm not listed this week because I'm up for jury duty. I have to call every day to see if I have to show up. So today I didn't have to report. So that's why we're doing the show today together. Okay. I'm glad. And I'm so thrilled. Thank you for asking me to fill in for Oh, me. sure. Sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got openings. Okay. So, your mind, call, so your information is on here. Arthur at ease. Mm -hmm. No, Arthur, ease your mind. Arthur, ease your mind. <laughs> at ease, I'm not in the army. Okay. Or just Arthur lose your mind. I should actually get that as yeah. well. <laughs> but thank you, Linda. And you listen, so you just good luck with the dentist. Oh, it's just a usual cleaning appointment. No oh, way. I got three teeth teeth missing. I have to, oh, and everyone, if you haven't heard, please check our CUNY pages. Sherry needs our help. Oh yeah, I already posted her thing. I did too. So first. just to remind yeah. people, look that up. All but, right, you guys. Thanks. See you next time. See you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.